Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon White 2. Uh, I'm Crystal72 LPS, and <clears throat> last time if you guys remember... Oh, jeez, I've got a cough. Okay. Um, last time if you guys remember, we... Uh, we went onto Team Plasma's boat. Um, we kind of tore shit up there. And we chased him down to the giant chasms, which is now where we are at, I guess. Yeah, this is where we were at. So, really, what we need to do is we need to try and figure out where Team Plasma have gone. So, come out, come out, come out, wherever you are. Okay, so we got Max Repel for doing that, so we might as well pick it up. Oh, Team Plasma, there's a couple of guys there. But uh, I do want to quickly finish exploring and getting the rest of the items. <coughs> so yeah, we get a star piece. Oh! Oh jeez, it's a Pokemon. Extra drill, yep. Level 47, so... If for some reason you haven't got a 6th Pokemon yet, you know, maybe, maybe extra drill is a Pokemon for you. But, um, yeah, so, can we get around that? Yes, we can. Aha, hidden item, a nice gem. Um, I don't think I've explained what the gems do in this game. Um, the gems will basically increase your damage done with a certain move, um, one time only, I think it is. But uh, it'll basically just increase the damage of a certain ice type move. So say I had it under Porygon and I used Aurora Beam, um, Aurora Beam's damage would slightly increase. Which isn't bad. Ice Beam! Awesome! So actually, speaking of Ice Beam, um, we can get rid of Aurora Beam now. Which is actually awesome because I've been waiting for ages to get Ice Beam. Morphs, you shall learn, and you shall forget Aurora Beam. <coughs> awesome. So that's kind of why you want to explore and make sure you get everything, so... Ice Beam is a great special attack, but it's a nice move obviously, as you can gather. Um, I think it's 95 power, so definitely worth getting. What's down here? Okay, so this looks like where we're meant to be going. Come here! Wait a sec. He said he wants to talk to them. So his old a so his old allies won't get hurt. Ah, so it's rude and um a bunch of like over team plasma guys. They don't seem to be buying it, though. Hey! Let me through. What are you saying? Look, Looking to get hurt? Alright, so basically he's just kind of like, um, you know, I, I'm just going to barge my way through. Fuck you guys. <clears throat> Alright, so I think we're going to have a double battle here. And uh, we're actually getting quite a few double battles with um, with Hugh at the moment, so All right, that's quite awesome. Oh, right, it's not a double battle. I got my hopes up. But uh, Baby Jaws, you should be able to do this. Double hit, awesome, we avoided it. And Weezing is down. And we get a Moxie boost, which is awesome. A Muck. Muck is a special defensive tank, so... Really, but if we're attacking on a physical side, Muck really will have no problem. Not very effective. 
Nice try, Mark, but not good enough. And we get a second Moxie boost. <clears throat> and we make it level 50, which is awesome. Yeah, you back away and you're like, shame. Are your Pokemon okay? You should take these with you. Alright, so he's actually gonna give us some like free max revives. Just to, like, just to be sound. I'm passing through. Oh, it looks like the backup has arrived. We have backup? Okay, so two guys is our backup. Really, it's not much of a team, is it? At times like this, those whose hearts weak, we are weaken? Those whose determined falters can accomplish nothing. Okay, so... Yeah, I, I think we just need to try and get to the center of the chasm. Um, I don't really know where we're going, so it's just going to be kind of a quick hunt trying to get as many items as possible again. Razor Claw, I think that actually will raise the... Wait, I have a Repel up. A Metang appears. And that's actually a level 50, that's uh... That's basically a Metagross. <laughs> so if you want to steal Psychic type, um... Metang maybe? A Moonstone. And you can use a Moonstone to evolve certain Pokemon, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so... Another Ice part of the game. Aha, it's the boat! And who, who did you get here already? Okay. Okay, so... These guys aren't gonna battle us. Go on ahead. I'm making. Sh uh, I'm making them tell me about a shadow trade. If you find Perlon or a shadow trade, let me know. You know what, Hugh? You're a little bitch. I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you anything. I'm gonna take all the glory. Oh, jeez, double bow. Oh no, it's an ambush. So really, we're gonna attack two on one. So. Really, we should be fine, but, uh... We're gonna have to focus on two Pokémon. But it's only a Scraggy and a Trubbish. But I'm gonna guess our second Pokémon will probably be a Scrafty and the big garbage guy I can't remember the name of. Uh, he can attack Trubbish, and he can attack Scraggy. Hopefully this will take them both out one hit. Yep, Trubbish is dead. An awesome Moxie boost. And uh, Moxie, I don't think I've ever actually explained it. It'll just basically give you a bonus to your attack stat. Kind of a bit late to be explaining it at, you know, part... I think it's a 16? Or a 17, maybe? I don't know. And Golbat and a Scrafty. So I was half right. And Crunch on Golbat and Aerial Ace on Scrafty. Let's go. There we go. Another Moxie boost. Aerial Ace. And that was a really easy double battle, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't think we actually got hit once. Oh, but uh, I never realized they had three Pokemon each. And, uh, Aerial Ace and a Willipede. And it took it out one hit again, and we're gonna get a third <laughs> Moxie boost. So this is really sweeping material now. There we go. Woe is me. Woe is you.
What's he saying now? Because he's been waiting for us. Spying is such a... Oh, he's a spy guy. Um, you've got to step on switches to correct or disconnect the pipes. It's a good thing we can talk on the pipes. So, yeah, we, we'll get, like, knocked back if we go that way. Um, repels effect is worn off. No, I, I don't really need a repel up here. I trained myself endlessly for two years to get justice for Team Plasma. I won't lose to anyone anymore. <coughs> well, you've clearly never fought me before, because you will go down and I will win and I will take your money and... I won't take your Pokemon, it's probably crap. And a Scorpii. Scorpii? I don't know. Um, a Dark Bug type, I think? So, really nothing too difficult, but uh... Oh, almost knocked out of one hit, awesome. But we should get a Moxie boost, so um, when we take it out, we should be able to take out the rest of his uh, team one hit. That is unless he's got like something awesome on it. But I doubt it, because he's Team Plasma. Boon Gus. Ah. That is what you hope to stop me with? Actually, does it? I was gonna say, does it have Spore? Because that would be really annoying if it's then I'm getting like paralyzed or put to sleep or something. And I go back as his last team member, and we're just gonna crunch it. Hopefully, taking it out in the one hit. Yep, Golbat, that's it. Good game, but uh, not good enough, I'm afraid. Goodbye, Grunt. Goodbye. Okay, so these are these the switches I was they were talking about, or are those in down there? I will use Team Plasma Science to bring out my Pokémon's greatest power. Or, you know, you could just train it like everyone else, you know. But no, that's cool, you wanna be a dick, you can be a dick. Okay, season level 47 Scrafty. Um, Scrafty's actually... I, I keep saying it, Scrafty's an awesome Pokémon. And uh, if it was to actually use a fighting type attack, it might actually take me out purely for the fact that uh, fighting is super effective against dark types, so... Oh, it's going to make me slower. So it might take me out here. Oh, it's just using Fist Age. Sweet. Okay, we're just gonna dig it again. Hope, yeah, high jump kick. Fuck. Okay, baby Jaws, you did well. Um, who will we go to next? Bilbo, faith is in you. We are putting faith in a hobbit. A halfling. You know, I just realized you actually see my background every time I use Aerial Ace. Or I think you see part of it. Wait, where am I? A barrier was deactivated. Awesome. Alright, so basically what I'm guessing is you need to um, stand on four of these switches to maybe deactivate a barrier? I think. I go up here and go down this way, nothing happens, no. Okay, so yeah, these th those are teleporters and they'll teleport you somewhere else. Hey there, uh, Pol Polos Polos Polski, one, two, three, three, three. That's awesome, man. 
Uh, where about in uh, Poland are you from? And we get a Zinc. Zinc, I actually believe, will uh, raise defense of your Pokemon. And this is a random doctor there, chilling awesome. He's just sitting there like, yeah, I'm gonna heal up Pokemon. I'll do it on Team Plasma's ship. Okay, so Team Plasma Grunt. And he's gonna use uh, Diino. And this is actually a Dark Dragon type, which is uh, pretty unique, pretty awesome. Um, it evolves into a pretty awesome final type Pokemon, which is a big ass dragon. Um, I said, whereabouts in Poland are you from? And we're going to take it out and get a little bit of XP. Oh, he's got two of them. And fly again. Oh, you're using a translator, okay. And his final Pokemon is going to be Sneasel. Level 45 Ice Dark, once again. Um, maybe this trainer just likes Dark type Pokemon. There we go, we're gonna get a little bit of XP, level up Bilbo, and he wants to learn Super Power. Super Power is a 5 PP fighting type attack, will I learn it? However, it also lowers the user's attack and defense. No, we will not learn it. Moves that lower your own stats, I don't tend to teach unless it's like close combat um, for competitive battling, but in game, I, I don't ever teach them. Plasma glory, team te plasma glory to Team Plasma. Right, well, good luck with that. Okay, so if we go this way... Where did this one take us? Oh, all the way back over there. If I go here... Does... That take does this one take us somewhere special? Yes, it does. No, go back on that switch. A barrier has been de deactivated. Team Plasma, come here. Okay, so here we go. Another Team Plasma grunt. And what's he gonna have? I bet it'd be something really garbage. Okay, so he's gonna open up with a coughing level 46. Why he hasn't evolved it into Weezing, I don't know. And hopefully this should just get taken out in one fly. Destiny Bond, oh jeez. I don't want to get taken down. Home Claws? Hopefully he won't use Destiny Bond again. And he's gonna do it anyway again just to be a dick. One. Explosion. So he's just gonna like give up, so. Just try and do a little bit of damage to me as much as he can. Critical hit? Seriously? Amoongus. Okay, so this is just like the big little fungus guy. And, come on, take it out, one hit, one hit, one hit, one hit. Sweet! Oh, I don't, oh that one has spore. But, uh, Bilbo, you did your job. You did well. 
And I'm actually going to put Fire Bacon up front. Um, just to kind of get him a little bit more XP. Okay, so if I go up here... Oh, there's a couple of items over there. We won't tolerate people who have different ideas. That's racist, yo. That's racist. And he's gonna open up with Scolipede. And Scolipede is a big ass poison bug, so... <laughs> it might take a couple of hits to knock it out, but uh, we should be good. I don't even know what move that was, there we go. Agility, I'm guessing. Hopefully, maybe two flame charges will get rid of this. Or one. And we get a speed boost, which is friggin' awesome. Oh, so close to 53. Item. Max revive. Max either, so that's going to restore all the PP of a given move at one point. Um, so where do we still need to go? Um, here maybe? Yeah, I think this one here is where we need to get to. But I think there's still one more somewhere. And we're just gonna go with a Trubbish. But uh, Trubbish is really quite rubbish. It's a bad pun. Um, and really, she's not gonna get any really. She's not gonna get anywhere using a Trubbish. Come on, we can take this out. And we're going to level up as well, which would be friggin' sweet. Zangoose. Zangoose is just a pure normal type, um, so Arm Thrust will hopefully take it out. Two hits. Ah, uh, what? If they'd hit that one more time, Zangoose, you'd have been... Uh, You'd have been knocked out. Knocked out cold. Why? Because you're garbage. And uh, we just have one more to get to now. Um. I just need to work out how we get to it. Uh, guessing for this. Nope. Um, down and around. Over this bridge. Down over here. And yeah, this is the last one here, so... And he's gonna try and use a Grimer. And we should be able to take this Grimer out in maybe one or two hits. Heat Crash. There we go, bye bye Grimer. And Sid Viper! Um, once again, hopefully Heat Crash will just take it out in one hit, but uh, Sid Viper might survive.
drink. And there we go. Level up. Oh, I was going to say level up, but no. A barrier was deactivated. All barriers are deactivated. You can now proceed. So, the next mission is to try and work out how the hell we get back. Uh, <laughs> this way... Oh, well, that was easy. Yeah, so that that is relatively simple and straightforward. Zinziol and the device is indestructible, you'll never be able to release Carving Me. You don't have the sense to know when to quit, it seems. It is an act of mercy on my part to bring you to an end now. Okay, so I think this is the final time we're gonna have to battle uh, Zinzolin. And there's two Cryogonals and a Sneasel, or a Weavile probably now. But uh, really take your time against this guy, he's not gonna be that difficult, especially if you're doing what I'm doing and having a fire type up front. Unless he confuses you and like starts like messing you about. God damn it, fire bacon. Serious? Oh wait, that's fine, I'm using a fire move, so... Wait, I thought if you use a fire move on ice, you just break out. Heat crash? Are you sure that if you use an ice move and you'll thaw a fire move you'll thaw out? Do you thaw out in this game? I don't actually know. Seriously? Okay, Fire Bacon, that was uh, some kind of bullshit right there. Thunder, it's up to you. And we're gonna go with Thunder Punch. And uh, hopefully we're going to hit it, because I think now there's a reflect just going back down, but nope. This isn't even that difficult a fight. Okay, Thunder Punch, let's go. Knock it out. There we go. And we're going to level up to 53 as well, so... I guess I can forgive you. And hopefully one more fun punch just knock this one out. Seriously, it's gonna survive. Ah oh, well. It won't survive this one. Weavile. Weavile is really the powerhouse in this team, so... But you should be fine. Thunderbolt. Didn't really do much. Ice Shard, what a dick. I can't believe that. Why would you use Ice Shard? You're a dick. Morphs.
Hopefully Morphs will take out using one Sir. Or maybe two of them, but uh... Hopefully Morphs can take a couple of hits. As Morph is an absolute HP tank. Oh, seriously? Didn't, didn't do much. Oh jeez, okay, we're kind of getting uh, a little bit hurt here. There we go. It's because you had a reflect and light screen up. But uh, really, that's the last of Team Plasma's generals. I think there's only a couple more Team Plasma uh, douchebags to go, so... What do I do? Uh, this one? Do I just... What do I... What am I doing? Oh jeez, see if I'm gonna have to fight this guy right now. I really hope I have time to heal up. The reason I've been traveling all over Unova and battling with Pokemon trainers is because I was testing one of the. Okay. Oh, so that is fine. I, I do have time to heal up. I was gonna say, if I had to just quickly go and fight him right now, I would probably get hurt quite bad. But uh, as long as I have Fire Bacon and Baby Jaws in this fight, um, really, I'm not. I'm not that worried. Uh, I reckon I can probably do this battle just using those two. And you know what, I, I might just try that. I might just try and use Fire Bacon and Baby Jaws. Just heal up everyone anyway. Just in case it ends up, just in case it ends up going sideways. I'd rather not lose. And Bilbo, you can remain paralyzed, because I don't really care. I probably won't use you that much in this fight. It looks like you're ready then? Okay, let's just let us begin. And this is Team Plasma's Colrus. He's pretty much one of the main generals in the game. And he's a reoccurring character, so... You'll kind of be familiar with him. Um, if you remember battling him from the Pokemon World Tournament, you'll know he uses a lot of Steel-type Pokemon. So, using Fire-types and Ground-types will probably be your best bet against this guy. So I really just want to get a couple of speed boosts. Okay. I really need the speed boosts now, because I'm paralyzed. Volt Switch. God damn you, Colorus, or whatever your name is. Magnezo. Okay, so he's gonna have a Magneton on his team and a Magnezo. Um, if you didn't know, Magnezo is actually the evolution of Magneton. Flash can. Oh jeez. Okay, that's fine. It didn't really do much. When I seen it there, I was just like, oh jeez, this is gonna do a lot, but no, that was not bad. Fire Bacon, you're doing well, you've taken out a Magnazone, and you've pretty much killed Magneton. Um, Behemoth? I'm just gonna go ahead and keep him in. Um, I don't really wanna... Oh, okay, he's just gonna die, okay, that was kinda pointless. Fire Bacon, you did well. You took out Magna Zone. But it's all up to Baby Jaws now. And uh, hopefully if we can actually kill a couple of them, we can get a couple of Moxies up. And if we can get like maybe two Moxies going, then I can predict the rest of this fight will be really easy. Yeah, there's one Moxie. Clink Lang. 
is floating on its air balloon, is it? Okay, well, I'm gonna crunch it. The only reason I used crunch there was to quickly pop the air balloon so I can use dig. And what's that gonna do? Speed, attack. Okay, so we're gonna quickly get a dig. Yep, so basically he's just gonna keep on raising his attack and uh, his speed. Um, so really this thing is quite threatening now. It's got, okay, this has now got three attack boosts along with three speed boosts. So if Baby Jaws doesn't take this thing out one hit, it's gonna be really threatening to our team. But Baby Jaws, you never fail to disappoint. And we're gonna get a second Moxie up. So the rest of this fight is really ours, just with Baby Jaws. Metang. So he probably just caught that literally outside. And he really likes raising his speed, doesn't he? But uh, bye bye Metang. This will be a one hit KO. Yep. And we're gonna get another Moxie boost. So our attack is going to be pretty sky high by now. And I think this is his second last Pokemon? Oh, it's going to be his last Pokemon, okay. He only has five. But, uh, good game, good game. But really, Baby Jaws is just too much for you to handle. And there we go, we got another Moxie up. Even though we don't need it, and it's overkill. It's not really hidden, was it? It's just a Moxie sweep. So strong, you're a very strong trainer indeed. Are you thinking of reaching you in higher heights by underestimating? Or even higher heights by understanding each other as Pokemon and trainer? Yes. To me, this is an ideal answer, I think. That is what I actually believe. You bring out the power of your Pokemon respect and love. Excuse me for repeating myself, but if it will make Pokemon stronger, I don't care what it takes. If interacting with Pokemon can increase their powers by certain points and their fulfilled strength must be brought out by using scientific research. Even one word coincidence. But you have shown your potential of your approach. To me, wherever Team Plasma wins or wherever you win will decide how the relationship between Pokemon and people should be. So where will this be settled? Step onto the warp panel on the other side of this room where Ketum is being held. Good luck in your battle. Okay, so we will have our final battle against Team Plasma right about now. Just gonna quickly heal up again, cause... A couple of our Pokemon did die. And I'm gonna quickly use a Max Elixir on Baby Jaws. Um, that way I can just get my PP back, because he did kind of use quite a lot of crunches earlier on when I was training him. And... He really did use up a lot of PP fighting uh, that guy there, so... Hopefully uh, we can take out... I think it's Getness next, I think his name is. Um, it's basically the head of Team Plasma from the first one. Do I not have any uh, full heals? Do I have a berry, maybe? Uh, poison confusion. No, I don't. I don't have a par. I don't have a berry that can heal me from paralyzation. God damn it! Watch you because uh, why I pretended to be strong, but I don't have any Pokemon. Yeah, you run up, and he's just gonna run away like a bitch. Okay. And here he is. Leader of Team Plasma. The fool is far too committed to pure science. This is how he repays me for making him boss of Team Plasma. How dare he put his personal intellectual curiosity before our ultimate mission of conquering Unova. How fortunate for you if you get to be the sole audience member of one of my speeches. Team Plasma will use his knowledge and technology to Krum's true power and its absolute limit and freeze the Unova region. But bow at Team Plasma, no, at my feet. Huh. So, when it split into Reshiram and Zekrom, my desire is absolute to absolutely rule Unova. 
That is right, Karim will be the vessel in which my desires will be procured. He yeah, has been transformed. It's finally here, I am wonderful hero in which I okay. Go away! What's going on? Tell me about the power line. Very well. This may be it. I stole this Pokemon five years ago, so Okay, so basically he stole that Purloin. What a dick. Let's quickly get that Purloin back. Okay, so you're going to have to quickly battle a member of the Shadow Tribe. And you know what? I'm going to kill you, but not for me. I'm going to kill you for that Purloin. Wait a minute. Is this the same Shadow Tribe guy we've had to battle already? I think it is. And that should take it out one hit. Yep, there we go. Good game, Pinyard. Absolutely. Eh? Well, we will use Arm Thrust. One hit, two hits. Ah, I was really hoping for about four, or maybe even three would have taken it out. But uh, there we go. Arm Thrust will kill it this time, and he's sent his last Pokemon already. And here we go, Quinyard, Flame Charge. And there we go! We've got ourselves another win! Really, we're just racking them up now. And give that Pinyard, give that Lepyard back. Oh, shit. So, yeah, you're gonna have to take down three Shadow Tribe, guys. Um, really, they're not that difficult, but, uh... They're basically the generals of Team Plasma now, so... Pardon me, just burped a bit. But, um, <laughs> Fire Bacon, we have got this. I believe in you, Fire Bacon. Show us all your true Pokemon power potential. And there we go. Benetti? Benetti? Oh, bad guy. Okay, we're just gonna sit on it because I'm gonna assume I'm a lot heavier than that is. Yep, one hit. Good try, but uh, no cigar. That's an awesome song. Flame charge. I'm assuming one hit. Yep, one hit. There we go. I have no problem with you, but this is the Lord Get... Get this? I don't know. You might not have a problem with me, but I have a problem with you, bitch. I don't really understand what the obsession is with, uh, Quinyards. They're not that good. They're not bad, but they're not that good. And we might actually get level 55 from this. Oh, got it. We should get it from this one anyway. And I have a feeling this is actually the guy that has a Bisharp as well. Um, Bisharp is basically the evolution of the Pinyard guy, and uh, it's not really that difficult, but it's a little bit, uh, it's just basically a big one of them, to be honest. 
And I was completely wrong. He has an icy core. I have no idea what it is. It's just I know it's a bug type, and I think it might be. It might be a steel type. It's a sub type. Um, maybe fighting. I can't remember. But uh, not that it matters. It just we took out all these guys one hit. So, fire bacon, you've made me proud. No matter, the only thing you can do is watch Lord Gettys use Chrome and freeze the universe solid, that is all. You, I'll return this Pokemon to you, considering what... Crystal 7-2, if we let Team Plasma do whatever we want, there will be... okay. Wait a minute, what's this down here? Okay, so I, I, I thought it might have been a switch or something we can stand on, but no. We must go. We must stop getting us. We must protect the Unova region. Shit, wrong way. So far, this is a rescue isn't going well. God damn it. Okay, so this way, yes. Come on, we can do this. This way? Yes, uh, I'm going to assume higher up we go, sooner we're going to get to the final fight. Oh fuck, I haven't got repels up, do I? It's a soul rock! Okay, so I'll quickly put a repel on, because we don't really want to find these Pokemon. We have no quarrel with them. We just need to find Getness. Uh, duh, 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 max repel, max repel, max repel, where are you? Aha, max repel. No, I'm not falling for that again. I do not want to fight an extra drill. And it's here. This is the chamber of a final battle. This is the spot where. Kyrum's power is released. Here, Kyrum can use the full extent of its power and can easily cover the universe region of ice! Come! You know what? You can use your dragon. I will still take it down. That aside, this is my gift to you, showing respect for making it this far. I'll freeze you solid right here so you can watch the glorious ascent! Glaciate! Oh jeez. Shit is going down. Reshiram! Fusion Flare! Okay, so we've been protected. The freak without a human heart. N. It's N! He's gonna come in and save a day floating on the back of his Reshiram. Reshiram told me Kyrum is suffering. I can't allow selfish humans to make Pokemon suffer. And I like Unova. It is the place that taught me how to live as a human. Okay, so fuck you, and I'm not gonna listen to your little heart held speech. The education program was in uh, complete then, but I still haven't forgotten even though I was kind enough for you living in a forest of Pokemon to take you in and care for you. So, uh, you know, I keep forgetting Anne used to live in like a little bush. But this is gonna be an epic battle between us and Getness. Oh shit, he's gonna steal Reshiram, isn't he? Oh dear, what's going on? Reshiram and Thingmi are gonna morph. Shit is going down.
Oh jeez. This is gonna be epic. Come on, Rush Ram, you can do it. Come on, Rush Ram, you'll be fine. Keep on going. No, Rush Ram, no! Rush Ram! Don't let him get you. No, Rush Ram! Rush Ram! No! No! Oh! Shit! Rush Ram? Absorb Rush Ram! Oh shit! Oh dear, what's going on? They are like fusing. Oh jeez. Okay then. They've become one. All that's left is Zekrom now. And I really wish you guys could see more of the bottom screen, because, you know, what's going on in the bottom screen was friggin' awesome there. I never could have believed that Pokemon could fuse together. If that were a formulation like this. YOU FOOL! Last time I was going to use you to capture people's hearts and minds to rule them. But this time I'm simply going to use overwhelming power and rule an iron fist. Do you understand? If you had simply become King Unova, would have remained beautiful. Come now, trainer. This time, no one will save you. But to make things interesting, I'll give you a chance. Let's see if you can stop this, Kyrum. What's this? Your Pokeballs are trembling? Could your Pokemon be shaking with rage? No, that's not possible. Simple tools don't have emotional thought. Come, challenge Fingmi. Just so you know, catching it is impossible. My cane and Nymph's signals have disrupted the function of all Pokeballs. Okay then. So catching it is impossible, eh? Well, I'm gonna quickly throw a Pokeball at it and just see if he's, uh... Just see if he was being serious or he's just talking shit. Okay, so it is actually fucking possible. That's bullshit. Okay, so this is gonna be a tough ass battle and we're gonna use strength, to be honest. Um Dragon is gonna be really this thing's only weakness, so it's gonna be a tough battle. It's okay, Fire Bacon. I have faith in you. I have trained you from being a level 5 Tepig. And you have done well. You have almost brought this legendary Pokemon down to half health. You know what? We started this game with uh, Tepig. We're going to finish it with Tepig. 
Fire Bacon, I will use a Hyper Potion on you and I will heal you up. Fusion Flare. Come on, Tepic, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Fire Bacon. Wait, what's it doing? What's it doing? I don't like this. It's gonna hurt, I can tell. Ice Burn. What the hell does Ice Burn do? Is it just an Ice Fire move, maybe? It's not very effective either way, so... The Wild Kyrum fainted. And we're gonna gain a little bit of XP, so that's pretty cool. They were separated again. I can't believe it. the White Kyrum I went to all the trouble of preparing. How irritating. No, I don't have to recapture Karim, do I? But first, I'll take down this disgusting trainer with my own hands. This time I will succeed no matter what they try, no one will be able to stop me. Okay, so it's our time to battle Gettis. And he has six Pokemon on his team, so he is actually going to be quite challenging. He's probably going to be the toughest trainer we've had to fight to this point. And I don't actually know if we get to heal. Yeah, we do. The game's not that horrible to us. And we're going to Flame Charge, because I really want to get a couple of Speed Boosts up. And that way, Fire Bacon can not sweep, but... Uh, ho hopefully kind of hold... Okay, it's going to use Toxic, because it's going to die at some point anyway. Leftovers. What a dick. Oh, protect. Okay, so he, that's quite a good tactic, actually. So basically, he's going to try and, like, stall out um, using toxic protect um, as much as he can. And then his leftovers is obviously going to restore him some health as well. So really, this thing is going to be quite an, quite an annoying Pokemon, actually. It's going to be quite a staller. Okay, that's going to take us out, I think. Or not. But it will, almost. The toxic, I, I think the poison will take us out. Yeah. Okay, so it's a ghost type, so baby jaws. We are gonna use crunch. It's gonna try and stall so it protect again. What a dick. I do quite like our strategy actually, so it's quite a good one. But, uh, not good enough, apparently. Baby Jo- No! We- Aw, oh, I forgot we lose, we lose Moxie. Seismitoad. Yes, actually, we're gonna go into Bugsy. We haven't been into Bugsy for ages. I don't even know what Bugsy's been doing. But Seismitoad is a ground water type, so Bugsy really should be quite useful here. Hopefully one Leaf Blade will actually do enough to take it out. And there we go, Seismitoad is down. Electros. Now Electros actually hasn't got any weaknesses. Although it is actually an electric type, it does have the ability Levitate. So ground type moves won't even affect it. Which is really awesome in a Pokemon, but uh... Really annoying for us. Come on, Bugsy. Ah. Um. Baby Jaws, I'm gonna go into you. Although I won't be using Dig, um, Baby Jaws really will be able to hold Zone against like Thunderbolt. Really, all of his moves. Aerobatics. 
Okay. Okay, so Genesis is going to use a full restore. Um, I think he actually has two of them, so one of them down is not bad. But this thing is actually a really good Pokemon to have on his team. Um, I'm pretty sure I've used one a couple of times before. A really good Pokemon. Um, Tynapole, which is its first evolution. Which actually, you'll remember Bianca talking about in the Charged Stone Cave. Um, they're just really rare. I think they're like 1% rarity or 2% or something like that. But if you find one, you find one, go and get one. But uh, if you don't, it's going to be quite a while. Drapion is a dark type crossed with a bug, I think? Bug or poison, one or the other. Um, by the fact of using X Scissor, I'm going to assume it's a bug type. But, uh. Yep, one hit. Sit down, Drapion. And this looks like it might actually be another uh, Crocodile Moxie Sweep. Toxic. Toxcroak. Anticipation. So hopefully we'll just take this out again. Um, because we do have two Moxies up, which will really kind of boost our attack stat. And yep, yeah, there we go. And we'll be getting our third Moxie. And you can see why Baby Jaws can really become a tank um, of a Pokemon. Hydrogen. Now, this thing is... Um, a dragon type crossed with a dark type. Really powerful. As you can see there, that's three Moxie boosts. And it only did just over half. Baby Jaws, you did well. Took out majority of his team. But, uh, Morphs. I believe you're the dragon type expert on the team. Ice Beam should take it out. Oh, Dragon Rush. Okay, so he's going to move first. Morphs should survive. Yes, just. And Hydrogen. That's it for you. I hope you enjoyed it. But uh, Morphs is going to grow to level 54. Get us. That's it for you, and Team Plasma, you're over. This is impossible. I can't be beaten by fools who can't even use Pokémon correctly. But Father, please understand. Pokémon are not tools. Pokémon and humans take each other at greater heights than their own wonderful partners. Some humans understand this. Why can't you? SHUT YOUR MOUTH! Shut up, shut up, shut up. Don't talk like a person, you freak. No real person can talk to Pokemon. Lord Goodness has lost control. We'll take it from here. Okay. Without Father Team Plasma's farewell. On behalf of everyone, thank you. Cream is fine, but it has lost its power and it will come back here again. Reshiro Ham says thank you as well. It's right, I can talk with Pokemon. On that day, two years ago, a certain trainer in Alda told me something. By accepting different ideas, this world creates a chemical reaction. So I met many Pokemon and people who hadn't heard so much. And that's how my world grew quiet and quick bigger. By being with Pokemon, humans can continue towards the horizon. Being with being with humans, Pokemon can exhibit a true power. But that's what Reshiram taught me, the truth from Pokemon and me. And someday, both truth and ideas will come together. Then Pokemon and humans will be free from opposition of Pokeballs. You. What are you and your Pokemon starving for? You should head to a Pokemon League and put your truths to the test. Bye bye Ann. I will never forget you. Is it over? Yes, it's over. It's finally over. More importantly, you rescued, uh, right? You're really something. I'm I'm gonna make sure Perleon gets back to my sister. 
Still can't take it out of a Pokeball yet, though. What are you gonna do? He said go to the Pokemon League? That's a good idea! I mean, now you're the strongest in Unova, right? So go and prove it! Do you remember where we first follow the route path from here and go through Route 23? Victory Road and Pokemon League is just past there. And that, guys, is the end of Team Plasma. We have destroyed them like we did two years ago in Pokemon Black and White 1. But now... We are on our way to Pokemon League. I think we're just gonna go around all the way over here. Oh shit, look at all this. All the trees are now falling down. Okay, we need to work out. Okay, it's oh it's rude. Let's go speak to Rude. Oh, you're safe, I'm so glad. Must need plus ship a man in a white lab coat appeared. He said a trainer had given him the answer he's been seeking. He said thanks for disabandoned. Team Plasma. He said farewell. Walker Walker just path for Pokemon. He flew up and went away. So everything's been resolved. And even Lord N is safe. Yes, N is safe. I had a wee chat with N. Me and him are cool homies now. How the fuck do we get out of here? This way, yes, this way. Fuck that, I'm not falling for the dust cloud trick. And, uh, I think this is the way. And yes, Route 23. On the way to the Pokemon League. But that's going to be in next episode, guys. So if you've enjoyed watching it on Twitch, don't forget to follow. If you've watched it on YouTube and you've enjoyed it, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. This has been Pokemon White 2. We've just taken out Team Plasma. Next time, we'll be heading to the Pokemon League. I'll see you guys all later.